Today for Full Album Friday, we're gonna go back to 1981 to look at the moving pictures record from Rush. Now, Rush are one of the bands you kinda need to tread lightly when talking about, as their fans are understandably very fervent and protective of one of the greatest trios of all time. And while I'll admit I did wanna talk about 2112 initially, I didn't. I decided to talk about this one, but both are equally impressive. First off, let's not forget that only the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, and Kiss have more gold and platinum albums than Rush. So for those who like to speak ill of this band for what ever reason, they've certainly earned this place amongst the most elite bands of all time. Nearly every song on Moving Pictures has become a staple of classic rock radio, and with good reason. They're great tracks. And many of these are used as benchmarks to test the abilities of up-and-coming musicians. It's just a reality. It's the way that these songs careen around with this unparalleled sense of movement that hooks so many people. And the fact that at any given time, any of the instruments can peel off from the rest and deliver a killer solo makes every song amazingly exciting. From these three you can pretty much take your pick in terms of unsurpassed musical ability. Is it Getty Lee and his brilliant bass work that he makes sound like nobody else? You're talking about someone who everyone from Les Claypool to Cliff Burton to the guys from Iron Maiden cited as a massive influence on their music. And Getty Lee continues to be just as innovative as just about anybody to this day. And then of course you have Alex Lifeson playing all manner of guitar. And both Slash and Eddie Van Halen have given huge nods to him in terms of impact. The riffs and progressions he brings are extraordinary, and the fact that he's almost always left off the list of greatest guitar players of all time is nothing short of criminal. And let's not forget that drummer Neil Peart was removed from eligibility for drummer of the year because he won too many times. This guy is one of a kind and this record are some of his greatest performances. But it's the fact on every song they move as a single unit that makes every track so impressive. And the way that these tracks swell and crash it's just it's just amazing, there's no other word for it. And it's why these songs have almost infinite replay value even after all these years. There's literally not a bad second anywhere on this record and it's one of those albums where you say to yourself, there's no way they can one up the track they just did and yet they do. Also, I'll admit it, this is an album that you pretty much have to play an air instrument to every second of every song. From the bass line on Tom Sawyer, to the guitar on Limelight, to YYZ, everything on that and yes, it's Zed, get over it. This is what rocking out is all about. You can't resist. People do like to pan Rush off simply because their technical expertise is well beyond almost anybody else in music history. But the reality is this is just a band that writes great songs and their overwhelming performance ability just makes them better. Really, Rush are a one-of-a-kind band you have to be into and Moving Pictures is one of their greatest overall performances. And if somehow this doesn't have a regular spot in your musical rotation, you need to change that right now. Thank me later. Oh!